Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to Pod Logic presented by Straight Up Podcasts. Today I want to talk about pod pod mentorship. Is that a word? Pod mentorship? It sounds weird when I say it. But essentially, podcasting is, especially if you're like me doing a solo show, it can be pretty isolating. You know, you're not looking at the people who consume your content. Remote interviews are the norm, and if you read last week's newsletter, you'll know why I have issues with remote podcasting. And you probably don't have a dedicated team to making sure that your podcast is sailing smoothly towards success. So what do you do? Do you kind of just you know wing it? Do you just try and figure it out as you go? But there's a million podcasts out there. Why would you try and go at it alone? So there's two options you can take. You Do you wing it, like I just said, do you try and figure it out yourself? Or do you want to be proactive and find like-minded people within this podcasting space? Because there's a ton of hosts out there that are really successful at this thing right here. They sit down behind this thing and they make legitimate money and they're very successful. Now you probably won't see them or hear about them on, you know, Apple's top charts, Triton's top charts, uh, whatever other podcast rankings there are. That's a limited few for the absurdly successful. But to take uh, a piece of advice that I got from one of the hosts that I work with, just shoot for one rung lower on the ladder. There are a ton of very successful people out there that are doing this podcasting thing. And it it just doesn't make sense why you wouldn't want to pick their brain. Why wouldn't you want to talk to them? We're trying to figure out how do I make my show better? How do I potentially monetize my podcast? How do I grow my audience? How do I get these amazing guests on my podcast that are just, you've already done this. How do you do, how did you do it? Rather than trying to figure it out yourself and trying and failing and trying and failing. Now I understand there's a great argument to be made for, you know, the trial and error aspect of anything you do, whether it's starting a business, whether it's going to school, whether it's doing a podcast. I absolutely understand that kind of mentality and it works. It, it, it works. You, you try stuff, it fails, and then you try stuff that wor- and you find out that it works. But why not take the shortcut? Not saying that short, obviously, you don't want to take shortcuts in life, but why not take a shortcut for people that are readily available to talk to you? And I'm sure they'd be more than happy to talk to you. Now, you might be thinking, well, I, I just have this tiny podcast. I can't, I, I don't, I, I don't want to intrude on them. I don't want to be that guy or girl that is, you know, the 1500th person to message them that day. Like I said, you got to shoot for one rung lower on the ladder. Don't go for the top of the ladder. Go for one, two, three rungs lower because that's still pretty high up on the ladder. It's not the top, but it's higher than you are. It's bigger than you are. It's more successful than you are. These people aren't so big that they have tens of thousands of people breaking down their doors to try and figure out what to do, but they're open for giving advice because they've done what you want to do with your podcast. The place that you want to be, they're already there and they got there over a journey by making certain sets of decisions, making certain mistakes that they might help you with, help you avoid. Say, hey, I actually I actually started just recording into my laptop and I realized that that was the worst thing I could have done. And buying an XLR microphone was the best thing I could have done because it made my podcast sound so much better. I started putting my podcast on YouTube. I started putting it on Instagram, IGTV, little clips. I, 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 did, I realized that no one wants to just jump blindly into a 45-minute podcast. They want to take a two-minute video that's a really interesting piece of the podcast that draws them in. They can see my face. Now they can associate my face with the voice that they're hearing. They can see the face of the guests and how much they're enjoying being on the podcast, how much they're enjoying this conversation rather than just posting a link to Spotify and saying, hey, my podcast is out. Because if, if you genuinely want to learn from, from these people, these, these you know second, third, fourth rung on the ladder, how they grew their show, how they found incredible guests, a cold email never hurt anybody. A DM on Twitter never hurt anybody. What are they going to do? Ignore you? Yeah, they left you on red. So what? Find the next person. It's kind of like sales, I guess. Uh, I always learned in school that sales, one of the most important things I learned in school was that sales is going to be a part of anything that you do. And that includes finding mentorship in podcasting. So 
you know, when you do get these cold responses, then, you know, you have to make the decision. Well, do I want to become this kind of stalker person and wait outside their favorite coffee shop and pester them? Hey, help me. Uh, please mentor me. I, I want to get my podcast as big as yours. Obviously, I'm joking. I, <laughs> I'm not recommending that you do that in any form or fashion. But there are a lot of people out there that will let you pick their brain if you just ask. And that can be a lot easier than just sitting in the corner of your studio or your closet or wherever the heck you record your podcast and going, how the hell am I going to do this? And maybe you want that. Maybe that's your, maybe that's kind of what gets the fire lit under your belly is your back is against the corner and you don't know what you're going to do. But there are people who have been in your position before position position. There are people who have been in that position before and they probably have never had anyone reach out to them. They probably go, wow, this person really wants to learn from me and I've done pretty well with my podcast or whatever it is in life. This doesn't have to be just about podcasting, but since this show is about helping podcasters, that's what I'm going to stick with. So just don't don't write off that as an option because it can take you to a lot of places that you may not have been able to get to. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast, please consider subscribing on whatever your favorite podcast player is. We are available everywhere except Stitcher. I'm trying to I'm still trying to get this show on Stitcher. It's been kind of a bear to bear bear to get on Stitcher. Um you can also follow us on Instagram at straight up podcast where we're going to be posting a lot of the YouTube content kind of share repurposing it for instagram we have a youtube channel follow us on twitter at straight up podcast you can follow me on twitter at johnny threederson and finally if you are looking for someone to take the editing and post-production aspect of your podcast off your plate because it takes too much time you don't want to learn how to edit and you want your podcast to sound really great come check out straight up podcast straight up podcast.com and you can see some of the shows we've worked on you can listen to our work we take people record like just like you we take people who are recording their podcast either at home in their office in a studio and make the podcast sound incredible record anywhere anytime and we will make your podcast sound great so go ahead check us out straight up podcast.com and if anything just you know share this podcast with somebody i know I've, I've asked a lot of you i've thrown a lot of information at you but if there's one thing that i could ask you to do is just take this episode share it with somebody send it to someone who you think would enjoy it And that could be the best thing that you could do. So I hope you'll have a great week. It is Wednesday. And I hope you end the week strong. Have a great, wonderful weekend. Labor Day is week after next. So enjoy your Labor Day, but I'll bring that up next week. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you on Monday for the newsletter and next Wednesday for the podcast.